Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up Oblivious DNS over HTTPS on your on your device. Uh, for this setup, I'm going to use the Windows environment. Before setting Oblivious DNS, here's a short brief to the Oblivious DNS concept. If you understand the concept, I have the timestamps in the in down here somewhere, and you can skip right ahead to the actual setup process. Okay. Uh, uh, besides that let's start so in the beginning we have the plain dns this dns type is an encrypted anybody can snoop on it anybody can modify its value to redirect the users to the place where they might not have the intention to visit to mitigate the problems of plain dns a number of different protocols like dns script dns over tls and dns over https were introduced all of these technologies achieve the same end goal and that is they encrypt your DNS traffic so no third party can read your DNS traffic or modify its queries. The encrypted DNS does its job fine. The problem is you are still sending your DNS traffic to a third party DNS resolver whether it is Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS or whatever encrypted DNS server you may be using, which decrypts your DNS traffic and directly reads all of your DNS data. Now, I'm not saying that the aforementioned DNS providers do this or not, but even with encrypted DNS, you are still handing out your personal identifiable information, in this case, your IP address to a third party resolver, and they can use that IP address to build your personal data profile and monetize that information. This is where the oblivious DNS comes along. This technology is developed on the existing DNS over HTTPS protocol. Uh, and what it does is it simply introduces a proxy server between you, the client, and your DNS resolver. With the ODNS, when you send an encrypted DNS query towards a DNS resolver, your DNS query, instead of directly hitting the DNS resolver, it actually first hits a proxy server. Now, now this proxy does not have the ability to decrypt your DNS traffic, uh, only the actual DNS resolver can read your DNS traffic. What this proxy server does is it in, instead it modifies the client's IP address, which is your IP address by the way, uh, with its own IP address and then it forwards that traffic to the actual DNS resolver. The DNS resolvers then decrypt the HTTPS packet, resolves the DNS query, re-encrypt that DNS traffic and sends back data to the proxy's IP address. The proxy then reinstates your original IP address and forward that traffic back to your device. From the DNS resolver's viewpoint, you did not make that DNS query, the proxy server did. And from the proxy server's uh, viewpoint, it did not know what was inside that DNS query because it did not have the private keys to decrypt your DNS traffic. Okay, uh, and the, and yes, that said, uh, this is the whole concept of o oblivious DNS. According to ODNS IETF draft, these proxies are ex Expected, which I believe is a very linear word actually to be non-cluding meaning you would not expect to see the DNS server and the DNS resolver both being run by the same organization because that would defeat the whole purpose of being an oblivious part. Uh, this was the gist of oblivious DNS. Now for the setup process, we are going to use DNS script. DNS script is a very popular tool for DNS inscription. Even in the draft stages, uh, work in progress, oblivious DNS uh, functionality has already been implemented in DNS script. Uh, kudos to the developer. So we are going to use that. Okay, for the actual setup part, let's move to the windows okay hey everyone so here we are on the windows machine so let's first do a before text test actually and let me quickly type example.com with wireshark as you can see our uh, dns queries are currently being uh, being transferred over the internet in plain text so anybody can read these queries uh, okay so 
now let's uh, uh, set up oblivious dns to do that first let me first open dns script github page and here are the releases Okay, the download is now complete. Uh, let me op uh, unzip this file. Now open the first of all, uh, rename this file to DNS script. Okay, then open this file. And you don't have to uh, make many changes here, okay? Just uh, uh, that uh, uh, false DNS script server, DOH server, and uh, turn this on, okay? I have tried turning off IPv4 servers as well, but the DNS over uh, oblivious DNS uh, did not work properly. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I believe uh turning this option off would even uh, close uh, close the um, uh, bootstrap dns servers okay which are located here okay which would be used to resolve the doh uh, host name okay so uh, you have to keep these keep this option on as well okay now coming to the bootstrap dns if you want to change them you can change that here uh, you can this is going to uh, ignore the uh, your system's D, uh, default dns settings for this is for net probe to uh, to know if the internet is up or not okay so you can change this as well now come down you don't have to change anything here if you want besides that if you want you can block ipv6 if you don't have access to that there's one small thing okay uh, on windows you can have a problem like when uh, you even if your internet would be working but here down here it would be showing that you are not online okay to fix this you can uncomment this and you don't have to do anything besides that uh, i am just keeping in the comment here so come down here all the way and uh, comment all of these lines okay you don't need them and uncomment these lines now save this file open command prompt and start the dns script proxy okay so let's try with this would be able to solve our uh, dns uh it is not working and this is intended okay for well, we had used this to just fetch two files and these are the files okay these are the files which would include all the available dns over uh, oblivious DNS proxy server, okay. Like this is for uh, these are the proxy servers addresses, okay, and these are the actual ODNS resolvers. To you can use uh, any one of the, uh, for example, if I want to use the proxy from Fastly, I just have to copy this name, okay open reopen the dns proxy and come down all the way here in the anonymized dns section okay and uncomment this line uh for a proxy you have to just uh, in, uh, in uh, type this name here okay and delete the second one and for the actual servers let's just say i am using odh provided by cloudflare and paste this here okay now save this and let's restart our dns script policy proxy okay
you can see uh, or, 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 uh, uh, anonymous DNS routing ODH uh, Cloudflare via relay proxy okay so now it would be working let's see and it worked okay that's it uh, your, your the DNS script is now using ODH okay to use this on your whole system just open your uh, ad network adapter settings right click here and choose the use the following DNS servers just type in 127.0.0.1 click save okay hey everyone this is another day i'm sorry i had forgotten uh, one crucial step in the original video and that is that once you would set up your uh, dns on your whole system okay oblivious dns you would have to come back to your dns script folder and double click on service install okay and now going back to the original video i had forgotten about this small step okay i apologize uh yeah and that's it okay so now let me first just uh flush the dns cache i click on flush dns okay now let's redo the example.com okay As you can see, we don't have any uh, DNS queries, okay, because they are all being encrypted right now. So uh, this is it. Uh, you are now using O D N S O O D O H oblivious DNS on your system, okay. Uh, that's it for, for that was it for the actual setup process. Uh, okay, now there's the two things I want to check. Say because we have reached the point in DNS encryption, whereas yeah, it is a point uh, from now on. It would not have much impact if you would introduce new technologies if your isp wants they can still know what websites you would be visiting they it might not work for every website but it would work for most websites and that is a reverse dns lookup okay they can uh, do reverse dns lookup on your ip addresses and uh, check out what websites you are visiting okay uh, from oblivious dns i would say uh, using your own dns re uh, resolver would be a, a much better choice okay uh, so you won't have to rely on any third party resolver but the root servers have said that they are not going to support the dns encryption okay for now at least so it is a uh it would be a, a time being before the actual root resolvers would support the dns uh, encryption so you have to rely on the third party resolvers okay uh so i have hopes to see you in the next video bye everyone